A case of road rage on the south side included gunfire today. Mm -hmm. A driver told News for Jax that he was rear-ended by a Mustang on Southside Boulevard. Then he said the driver of the car shot at him. He talked with News for Jax reporter Bree Isom. And Bree, this, this driver told you that he followed the car after the crash. He was trying to get a picture of his license plate, so he kept on following him around, but that's when things turned violent. Take a look. I was just trying to go for a haircut, you know. <laughs> Little did Nicholas Angersola know that that commute wouldn't be easy. Angersola says he was driving northbound on Southside Boulevard in his Dodge Durango Friday morning. And we were at a red light right at Touchton uh, in front of the gate in Burger King. Um, a car rear-ended me. Angersola says the guy who rear-ended him was driving a Mustang. And then the damage on the rear is just a little bit of a scratch. Um, basically from when he rear-ended me. He got out of his car to take a picture of the guy's plate number. And while he was on the phone with 911... The light turned green, he ended up taking off, um, and I wanted to get his license plate number, so I followed him. Ingersola says he followed the car trying to get a picture of the plate while still on the phone with the 911 dispatcher. He started driving west on beach until he realized this chase was putting his life in danger. And he shot out his driver's side window at the right front of my vehicle. This is the right front where the bullet grazed. He ended up getting a picture of the plate, but the guy driving the Mustang got out of his car with a gun. News for Jack's crime and safety expert Ken Jefferson says if you're ever rear-ended, pull over to a safe place and call police. If the driver drives off, don't follow them. Yeah, I know instincts tell you to chase them, to follow them, to try to stop them from getting away, but you don't know what you're, you're, you're running into. So the best thing to do is just get a good description of the vehicle, the vehicle color, uh, description of the driver. Now we're hearing the man driving the Mustang was arrested, but we're working to confirm his identity and we'll update you on newsforjax.com when we figure that out. Reporting live on the South Side, Bree Isom, Channel 4, the local station.